Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to veer off a little bit and do a different uh, video here. Uh, it's going to be talking about Christian persecution. There is a article that came out a couple days ago, kind of slipped through the cracks. You don't see this stuff in mainstream news. Uh, if there's any YouTube employees watching this, do not ban or suppress this video. I am just talking about facts here. This comes from uh, Al Jazeera. And uh, this article again came out a couple days ago. I just wanted to spread the word. This is pretty horrific. There's an incident that happened overseas. And we're just going to go through the article here real quick. Check this out. It says, police hunt suspects after four killed on Indonesian island. Uh, these were four Christians that were killed. This stuff happens all the time. Um, the Muslims on the YouTube platform is a protected uh, speech group. But people can sit here and make fun of Christians all the time. And all this stuff always gets swept under the track. Uh, the, the crack. So I'm not going to uh, make fun of anyone. I'm just going to simply point out the article here and you know, you kind of make the decision what you want to do. So it says a manhunt is underway after a group of sword and gun wielding attackers killed four people in a remote part of the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, including one who was beheaded and one burned to death. The ambush took place in a village in central Sulawesi province on Friday morning. Authorities said the victims were members of a Christian community. And watch this next little section here. But a police official said the assault was not religiously motivated. So you have these two groups, these two factions, the Christians and Muslims. The Muslims hate the Christians. And they automatically say, hey, it's a Christian community, but it wasn't religiously motivated. But we're going to see in here it 100% was. And this is just Al Jazeera just bending the knee. So the attacks also torched half a dozen homes, including one used for regular prayers and services, police said. And what's interesting, I did an article here, um, it was about a week ago, about the mark of the beast. And during that time, Revelation, there's going to be Christians that are beheaded. This is already happening. It happens all over the world. It's been going on for years. So it's not out of the question to say that this stuff's going to keep happening. Uh, let's move on. Police were hunting the suspects on Saturday and no arrests have yet been made. Authorities blamed Sulawesi. And I'm going to skim through some of these words here because there are definitely some big words I can't pronounce. Uh, East Indonesia. Mujahideen, MIT, one of the groups across the world's biggest Muslim majority nation. See, it's not surprising to hear this stuff because it tells you to go ahead and kill all these people in the book that they read. And this happens all the time that have alleged uh, pledged allegiance to ISIL, ISIS. We reached the conclusion that they, the attackers, were from MIT after showing pictures of its members to relatives of the victims who witnessed the ambush. The makeshift church that was attacked was empty at the time of the early morning assault, he added. So this would have been a lot worse if uh, the church was filled. People were just in their homes when it happened. Uh, in the village, there was a village head, uh, Rafay, who like many Indonesians go by one name, said one victim was beheaded and another was nearly decapitated. So the guy lost the majority of his head. Some residents managed to escape, but the victims didn't make it. One of the other male victims was stabbed while a fourth was burned to death in his home, he added. According to witness reports, the perpetrators had asked for food from the victims who were killed when they refused. National police spokesman Aoi told the Reuters news agency denying that the attacks were re religiously motivated. Here they go again. We're on the ground now. There's about 100 people who will start chasing. Gomar Gultem, the head of the communion of churches in Indi Indonesia, said the victims were Christian and urged the authorities to resolve the case. The Salvation Army Church in Indonesia said the victims were their members and condemned the violence as an inhumane act. This is 100% motivated by hate. Indonesia's Christians have been targeted in the past, including in 2018 when ISIL link group Jama Anhurat Dula staged a wave of suicide bombings by families, including young children. This was a targeted attack. They knew exactly what we we're doing. At churches in the country's second biggest city, killing a dozen congregants. Wow. Through the, through the attack, they want to show that the police efforts to arrest and kill members of the group did not have any effect on them, she told AFP. In 2018, MIT was believed to have sent members posing as humanitarian workers into central Sulawesi's quake tsunami hit Palu City in a bid to recruit new members. Wow. But you know what? This isn't surprising because all throughout the New Testament, it tells you that Christians are going to be persecuted. Here's just a few scriptures and we're going to be ending here. It says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ, Jesus shall suffer persecution. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Matthew 5, 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 1 Peter 4, 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is it to, you, to try you 
as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But I say unto you, this is powerful. If you're a Muslim, listen to this. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despite, despitefully use you and persecute you. If you're a Muslim and you're doing these, hath, uh, these acts of hatred, I'm praying for you. You need to go ahead and part from your sin. Jesus died on the cross for you. You just say, hey, I'm a sinner. Jesus, you died for my sin. You rose three days later. And I want you to come into my life and get a Bible and start reading it. And this is very powerful info that I'm going to go ahead and pray for you. This is obviously awful that you're doing stuff that you're doing, but it's amazing that God loves you and he wants you to turn around and become a Christian and serve his kingdom. That's it. See you guys next time.